Welcome to Wine Library TV. I am your host, Gary Bay, Nur Chuck, and this, my friends, is the Thunder Show, aka the Internet's most passionate wine program. And uh, here we are, and we are going to be focusing on Pinot Noir. We're going to do a little head to head. And the reason we are is because the Wine Enthusiast, a uh, really nice magazine if you haven't read it lately, I've just been reading, uh, catching up on it myself. Pretty good stuff. Um, Decided to give out two 93 point scores, and that kind of got my you know, eyes and eyebrows and a kind of a ooh, big scores for these two Pinots we have in stock. Alta Maria uh, Pinot Noir, this is the uh, 2008 Santa Maria Valley Pinot Noir, 93 points, wine enthusiast, 23 bucks. And the Cross Barn, made by Paul Hobbs, Russian River Pinot Noir, uh, 93 points, wine enthusiast, $32. So, same score. A uh, little bit of a, a, a price difference, a $9 price difference. Same numbers, 23, 32. Uh, and we're going to find out which one brings the thunder more than the other. A little head-to-head -head action. Uh, and uh, I like that. So, we've got the big-ass glass front and center to be a part of the action. Let's get right into it. Alta Maria Vineyards, 2008 Santa Maria Valley Pinot Noir. 13.9% alcohol content, 93 points. Wine enthusiast, 23 American dollars, and, got it, Michelle, good. And, uh, A, 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 got it, Alta Maria. Weird email address for these guys. A, M, I, N, F, O, A, M, Info, Alta Maria. A, M, Info, at altamaria.com, or altamaria.com, if you wanna check out the site you want to get a little hold of them, all right? So, let's give it a little bit of a sniffy sniff. Now, this is really, really smoky. We shall smell this. I think you're gonna find it interesting. Um, really, really smoky right off the top on the nose. Do you pick up the smokiness? What do you smell? Wine? Wine. <laughs> um, really, really interesting smokiness attacks the palate right away. There's also a little bit of green in here. So a little bit of like a dill and a uh, and a parsley kind of ac action on the nose. A little red fruit and almost like a sauerkraut component on the tail end of the nose. So kind of, you know, pickly, sauerkrauty. It smells a lot like food. And smoky, wow, really smoky. Almost like burnt, you know, vineyard. Let's give it a whirl. about that. Wow. Did that wine seduce me? Maybe one of the only 20 wines that I've ever drank on this show. Um, hmm. Beautiful mouthfeel. The elegance, like, like triple silk sheets. Like, what is that whole thing which silk, Michelle, you know how silk sheets have like a thread count? Do you know what I'm talking about? Is it better if they have more threads or less? Do you know? More. more. So like, what's like the normal? Do you have any idea? This is like a 40,000 thread count sheet. I mean, unbelievably smooth and great, great flavor profile. I do get a little bit of a black pepper mid palette that is accompanied with some raspberry and cherry sauce. Um, really, really, really well made Pinot. Elegance, classic, good body, but doesn't taste like there's some Syrah being snuck up in there and really well made. Let me give it one more shot. I really like that. I'm gonna score 92 points. And for 23 bucks, out of California, for Pinot, in this day and age of Pinot's glory, that's really interesting. It's really well made, it's got great structure, fabulous finish, kudos, 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 kudos to Alta Maria. This is one of the better under $25 Pinot Noirs I've come across in a long, long time. Like it, I like it a lot. Hmm. Cross barn, you're gonna need to bring it to beat that. Wow, that was good. All right, let's see what's going on here. Cross barn, 2008 Russian River Pinot Noir. Paul Hobbs. All right, let's see what's going on.
going on here. Now this is a little bit darker right off the bat on the, uh, the coloring. Let's give it a snippy snip. Nowhere close to as interesting of a nose right off the bat. Just pour a little bit out. A little more room to beat it up. Gotta beat up your wine sometimes. It's like a little brother. Yeah, open it up. It really does work. I get some really interesting like baby ch black cherries coming across on the nose, which I like. Creamy. So there's a dramatic uh, difference on the nose and this comes across creamier on the nose to me. Let's give it a whirl. didn't bring it. I'm nowhere close to the Alta Maria. There's a sharp edge here. It's acting younger. It's less approachable. The tannins are bigger. It's a little bit goopier, gloppier. It's a little love handle action, which is okay, but it seems unfocused and, and, and disjointed at best. Now it's a young wine and it hasn't been open for a whole, whole lot. So there's that going for it and I could see it evolving, but it doesn't have the elegance or, or flavor profile, really, of the Alta Maria. It doesn't have the oomph factor, even though it's a bigger wine. So don't get confused when you talk about wines that are heavier having more flavor. That is absolutely not the case. It's kind of like food. And there's a lot of little foods. Caviar has a whole lot of flavor. Sometimes a lot more than a big fat steak. Get it? That's kind of what's going on here. Just because it's a bigger wine doesn't necessarily translate or transition into your palate tasting more, especially when the tannins are blocking it and not allowing some of the flavor profile to come through and really address your taste bud needs. This wine is awkward at best. It's young. It, it could be like, you know, one of those basketball players. You know what I mean? Like, especially Eastern European basketball players. You ever see their pictures when they were like 13, like all like zitted out and braces and like six foot four and like their feet are bigger than like their head and it's all awkward up in there. That's what this wine's acting like right now. Has potential, could evolve, could turn into shack, diesel baby, but I don't know. And right now, you know, for the short attention span of the American wine drinking consumer who's gonna not put this away for a long time, I'm probably gonna give this wine a pass. I don't see the 93 points that the enthusiast does. I don't even see a nine. I'm gonna score this wine 87 plus points and give it a pass at 32 bones and ding, 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 it is not even close. The Alta Maria destroys the cross marred Pinot Noir. Question of the day. Now that week one is all wrapped up in the NFL, what is your Super Bowl prediction, and what is your favorite Pinot Noir that you've drank in 2010? You, with a little bit of me, like, we are changing the wine.